Hi everyone, this morning I watched an episode of Candace Owens' show that um, went over Epstein and interviewed a journalist that um, went about getting documents using a civil case with uh, Epstein, a First Amendment case, um, and he he's exposing, this interview is exposing the media and government officials um, going to these links um, and the court uh, process being different and not and something that is never done in any other case happening with Epstein so he's fully um, calling out that this is not how it works and that the only explanation for that is that um, they're a part of something that is uh, involved with the pe- Epstein ring themselves I think he used the word like that Epstein must have been an asset um, to the FBI and an asset uh, in some way to a lot of connections. The media is just completely um, changing the story and covering the story and covering up the story and make it something that it isn't and avoid um, acknowledging what it is. And I think that's so important because of once we have that, once we see the infiltration of a pedophile ring in government, um, I think where we wind up I think this is the beginning of our um, republic's return. So I think it's really exciting because it, once people see it, um, I think that there's no other option um, because our, if we're not going to fight for the safety of our families from government, then what would be, whatever would be that breaking point <laughs> that breaks the camel's back if it isn't your children in this country, American children? Um, from an elite pedophile trafficking ring that is using the government to be able to kidnap. I mean, what if you're not, if that's not going to get people moving, then no, nothing's going to get people moving. So I think it's the beginning of that coming to uh, light in the mainstream, but I think it, it happens, uh, one, uh, uncovering one thing at a time. And someone with a platform like Candace Owens is is a, a huge is making huge headway. Um, the solution that I'm seeing um, is just I mean it's simple. Um, we already have it. It's just not being enforced. Uh, this whole entire country, uh, any kind of government for this country comes from uh, the Constitution. When we have a government uh, operating, pretending that the Constitution is a really nice idea, but that they can't be in conformance with it. That was the email that um, was sent from one of the lawyers locally uh, when in in discussion about the Constitution just a month or two ago. And I was involved in that and and seeing that and reading that. And I thought, that's just that's just the. that's just the best way to put it. They're just not in conformance. <laughs> They're just not in conformance with law. So, if we if, once we see that, then we understand that um, the re- we have the Constitution for a reason, and um, we don't have to create some new law. We don't have to fight for some new legislation. We just need a return uh, in that frequent recurrence to fundamental principles that is promised in the Constitution. Um, um, that's it. in the state of Iowa. state of Arizona has that one and I have referenced it in affidavits that I've sent recently because that's the solution that's the solution that I see it's just take away all the BS um, you just do less you know you're doing too much government's too extra right now when, <laughs> when we get kind of extra and we start talking about weight What about extra privileges? What about extra? What about, um, you know, let, what about, (laughs) um, I want a vaccine choice. Can I have a law for a vaccine choice? You don't need a law for a vaccine choice. (laughs) No one can make you do anything. Just go back to the constitution. We don't need to fight for some statute to give us one of our choices. Come on, come on guys. Let's, (laughs) we've got all these people congregating in a movement that's unnecessary um, when we do need us all to congregate in the movement of a return to fundamental principles. All these issues melt away. We don't have to worry about um, some new uh, way to 
stick up for, you know, a group that seems disenfranchised because if someone's being disenfranchised, probably their rights are being trampled. If their rights are being trampled, then what we have is someone's not in conformance with the Constitution. Let's just stick to that. When we have uh, a lack of awareness of what the problem is, we have a lack of awareness of what people's jobs are and roles are in government seats. Even our elected officials don't understand their duty is to the people that they their only boss is the people. Um, it opens the door to so many problems. We've got bar cards who are misleading them. What what's going on with the Epstein ring is that there's a group of people who are called the vamps. These vamps are the Giz, no, the Gielin Maxwells. That's the pronunciation. Gielin. Gielin and Epstein and the people who they um, recruit and um, hand over trafficking victims to. And those trafficking victims are coming from the Department of Human Services and government places, uh, Child Protective Services, other words for it, DCF, DCFS, different, it's all, it's all uh, some version of Child Protective Services. Um, they're, they're breaking up the family, they're destroying homes, and then they're feeding them to high paying um, whether they're celebrities, whether they're politicians, whether they're um, just, maybe whether they're, they're Prince Andrew. 88% of recovered trafficking victims worldwide, whether they're recovered in uh, Germany, whether they're recovered in Europe, whether they're recovered in Haiti, wherever they're recovered, 88% of them originated from, they went missing. Uh, Coincidentally, or absolutely, this is what they do from DHS custody, from CPS, so foster care, from the child welfare system in our country. Uh, you can't have that high of a number and not have it being an institution that is built to do this. Because if their goal, one goal was to get 88% of those children to graduate high school they didn't reach that goal so even when they were tr if they were even trying <laughs> to do one thing right like that they, they had failed so they are obviously trying they are obviously built around mm, they're built to um, secure uh, commerce children to use in commerce definitely underage uh, children um, and to do so using the legal system in our country and this originated from politicians who are related to that ring of Epstein's people and it seems pretty obvious. The wolves are um, judges, lawyers, prosecutors, and CPS who are um, really not uh, the ones buying they're the ones making this possible and some of them know that they are and some of them don't even know that they are some of them are just following orders and they ask how it's done they ask a bar card the bar card is covering a lot up here the bar card the bar association is covering a lot of this up um, so I call them the wolves I didn't come up with this myself <laughs> um, but um, to make it a little easier to see you've got the vamps that are the buyers but CPS and police and um, judges and lawyers, whether knowingly or unconsciously, are some of them are consciously, and some of them are just doing what they think is policy. And policy is built to support this this infiltration of government that is for uh, child sex trafficking worldwide. And beneath the wolves you have the sheepdogs and that is um, the good guys the people who are blowing the whistle and attacking the virus that is the pedophile ring the real pandemic and the real virus um, is the deep state so um, and how do we do that we um, 
educate ourselves and educate each other about the Constitution and the fact that the system is not in conformance, which makes them tyrants, that we have a duty to then overthrow it. So just planting seeds today with some of what I'm putting together, and I I hope it plants some seeds and begins a larger conversation, and if, um, if it's something that you want to talk about with someone, please share it, and do have these conversations. Um, I think that's the beginning to um, what's slowly going to fall into place as tremendous progress you know it always has to get worse before it gets better and things are pretty bad but 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 we're not without hope things have to get bad for people to recognize a problem and start focusing on how we how we cure it and I think I see it I think I see that the cure is to uh, return to the republic that this is this isn't a democracy Um, a democracy is um, we are entitled to the three branches of government the legislative, executive, and republic, or I mean, um, and judicial. Legislative, executive, and judicial that form our republic. And that's how we prevent a lot of these ill gotten gains um, where um, the CPS is incentivized to kidnap our children, um, and they are doing that. <laughs> they're doing what they're incentivized to do. It's a business. They got to make money. You don't make money by following the law, and that's <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be. You, you, you don't do it to make money. You don't do it to to profit off of the backs of the people. But we're gonna have to not only have the people understand government and people understand the Constitution, but we're gonna have to have the people. Um, educating um, elected officials because elected officials have the power to start doing right and if they don't they have um, we have ways to hold them accountable and and that's exactly where things are going to have to go for us to get our republic back in it's not voting for a president and having a president who we think will bring a republic back it's gonna have to be us directing the servants um, and we can't do that if we don't even know what the heck's going on. We can't do, we can't direct the servants when we don't understand there are servants. We think there are masters. We think there are rulers. We think they're the boss. We are the boss. You know, we got to put them right back into their seat, um, where they're positioned. Um, and when seated in the position of an emolument and with liberty interests at stake of the the people um, when they violate due process that's a that's a serious um, offense and we are letting things slide we have been for centuries <laughs> for centuries um, but especially but especially in my lifetime and I think that's because of uh, the education system getting so far off track that no one even understands um, the role of government. They don't understand that we are the government and they're the employees. We are. The Constitution says all political power um, is inherited from God. I mean, it's inherent to and derived from the people. It's inherited from God and it's ours. It's not government's. Government is a creation of the people to limit itself. And any time that it's limiting the people and not benefiting the people, we're looking at government overreach. So we have to know what we can do about it. And that does take a great deal of understanding that I think gets more and more interesting the harsher things get out in the world. So let's start the conversation. Thank you for listening.